Welcome back. Today we're going to go over my top 10 most carried EDC fixed blades over the last two months. Uh, getting started with the Terra Knives Trekker. I reviewed this one recently. Um, just a cool little EDC fixed blade that is a tiny guy. This one's in Magna Cut, but uh, because of the thicker, wider handles and that three finger grip, I, I still get a nice comfortable grip and I got way more done than I expected to be able to get done with a smaller knife like this. If you hadn't seen that review, go check it out. Absolutely love me some Terra Knives. This is my second one and I am going to be picking up a third one here pretty soon. Um, I've been carrying this one in the cross draw right in front of my belt and that's the way I've been enjoying this one the most. Easily to be concealed because of how long it is. Nice Kydex sheath with a push off point. Um, he does drops every two weeks, and uh, if there's none available, there will be some um, in the next, I don't know, however long since his last drop. Definitely want to be following him. USA made, very high quality. He uses premium steels and uh, completely custom fixed blades with excellent heat treats from Peter's Heat Treat. I love them. Absolutely love these knives. He uses uh, Magna Cut M4. Um, a few of the other super steels and yeah, I could care less what he what steel use because I like his knives that much. Number two, we have the Giant Mouse GMF1 and I didn't carry this one for a while because it, I, it it's a skeletonized knife and it just didn't really fill out my hands. I'm carrying it in a Oak City Leather uh, Supply pocket slip. It's got the little pocket clip on there, you, or you could carry it inside the waistband, but I like to just drop this one hooked to the pocket. And I got these aftermarket micarta scales from Outdoor Gadget DE. They do drops. Uh, I, I follow them on Instagram, and I actually was able to catch one of their drops. <laughs> I think they're out of Germany or uh, something like that. They're in that area, and... Uh, didn't take that long to get them and it was a game changer for me because it fills out my hand a little bit better with these this three finger grip um and it's got a lot more traction i love the gmf one it's you know such a well uh well done little edc fix blade one that i can get you know right up on that tip this one's in x in 690 i think i'm gonna try to find one of the ones in m390 i prefer that over n690 but with such a small fixed blade it's not really that big of a deal also i will have links to everything that's available down in the description and if you'd like to see a video on my different carry options of how i like to carry my dc fixed blades y'all let me know that down in the comments we have one coming from off-grid knives and this is the off-grid knives hoglet outstanding uh value on this one this one's like 59 bucks beautiful kydex sheath it comes with a belt clip attachment um i was carrying this one uh in the the middle of my back cross draw or no just the middle of my back um i can't think of the name of right now nice pull uh push off on that sheath got a drainage hole d2 cleaver cleaver shaped blade you got a stone wash blade on this one and they also come in a black washed very very comfortable because it has thicker g10 scales that just fill out the hand nicely you have good jimping that really does is really effective sits right where my finger is going to sit you also have a lanyard spot right there just a cool knife for the money um and they they do a really really good job with all their knives i love me some off-grid knives and uh yeah they all hold excellent edges and they're just a great quality all through and through <clears throat> next up we have the kaiser maverick customs harpoon in 10 v now this is the mini one that's like six and i forgot it's i think it's six and a half inches overall now these are sold out because they're blade hq exclusive but they have the uh the full size one, which is not that much bigger, and I used to EDC it. This is the full size one. It's an inch longer, and it, it's not it's not that big. This is a pretty small fixed blade. I just barely get four fingers on there, and you can get this one right here in 10V for 80 bucks. Definitely, definitely an awesome value. Um, I tested this one a while back in D2, and I beat on it, and it did great. So if you ever wanted one of these, I would definitely go with the 10V version over the D2. 
And like I said, even though I like the, the smaller ones because they're a lot easier to conceal and easier to carry for me, that uh, the one that's an inch longer is a good option also. Uh, comfortable in hand, contoured micarta scales, get right up on that tip for doing fine detail work. This, is a, this one has a nice positive click on that sheath, no rattle. And I've been carrying this one cross draw in front of the belt as well, if it's perfectly for me. Uh, I just, I put these uh, pull the dot soft loops on there, but it comes with two soft loops as well. No, actually this one might come with a uh, tech lock style. Uh, I'm not certain on that. Next up, we have the White River Knives Firecraft 3.0 Pro. Now this one was exclusive to DLT Trading, but the regular one I'm sure is just as good because White River does some amazing knives. Uh, they're USA based company, all their knives are USA made. Nice drainage hole, nice Kydex sheath, comes with a fire steel, and this is the belt clip uh, attachment. I was just trying to use this one because I was trying to do some, uh, some stuff for a review with this one. And I love the blade shape. You got a nice little uh, fire steel scraper right here. One thing that I'm trying to get used to is the these uh, the rings, because there's really no functional reason for the ring. I you know there's no way for me to hold it. It's more of just like a pull off point for me. But I I like the overall feeling in hand. Even with that ring, it's fine. Uh, this particular one is in CPM 3V, and uh, it's got the FDE coating on it. Good apply G10 scales that are bolt on, just in case you need to take them off to clean them. Very cool knife. I love me some White River knives. Nice positive click on that sheath as well. I picked this one up at Blade Show last year and I started carrying it recently. This is the Hogue Knives Extract. This one uh, is super thin, super lightweight. It comes with this like just a uh, blade cover they call it it's like a plasticky blade cover but i kind of like it because of how thin the profile is but if you want something a little bit more uh sturdy than this it also comes with a kydex sheath this is a usa made fixed blade excellent as a hunter hunting fixed blade because that nice belly on that harpoon blade m4 blade steel comfortable in hand very very grippy peel ply g10 almost feels like emerson's uh <laughs> peel ply nice comfortable grip in hand and uh, you can get these for 150 not no wait, yeah 161 I'm sorry 161 bucks M4 steel very 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 nice um, now the carry option on this one for me I was I'm using a static line hook it to my my belt loop and carry it inside the waistband like that so like I said if y'all want to see a video dedicated to how I carry my DC fix blades y'all just let me know next one i hope they bring this back i don't i couldn't really find one available this is the griffin co scout i think uh 2.5 maybe beautiful kydex sheath i think the oem on this one's best tech nice uh push off on there this one's in s35 vn um i'm a little worried about this dark this dark blasted stonewash finish because usually uh usually that'll rust up where i'm at in louisiana so we will find out this summer. I'm going to keep carrying this one and see. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, awesome shadow boxed, contoured micarta uh, scales, the canvas micarta scales. Perfect grip for my hands. And you have that beautiful drop point blade that you can get all the way to that tip with. Uh, they also did a pre-order on a folder that is looks just like this almost. And... I thought I had got in on that pre-order, but I never did hit the uh, buy button. So I missed out on that one. Hopefully they'll do another run of these and another run of those folders. Uh, also carrying this one inside the waistband with the static cord. I picked this one up off of Amazon a couple of weeks ago. And because I, I thought it looked kind of cool. This is a tiny one from YF Smart. This is their compact uh, fixed blade. Very nice Kydex sheath. Look how thick that sheath is for this little bitty knife. It also comes with a small tech lock of sorts. Uh, I left it on like this because I was carrying it like this just to see how I liked it. I think I'm going to change that up probably to scout carry. Nice push off point. Just a cool looking uh, little folder. D2 steel. Uh, it's got a very slight recurve in it. 
it's a three finger grip for me and you know just something to do something quick um, and be about your day peel fly g10 you can get it in uh green you can get it in black and green g10 nice lanyard spot now i bought this one on amazon the other day because it was it was like 31 or 33 bucks right now they're 58 bucks and personally i don't think it's worth 58 bucks but that's up to you to decide um i haven't you know did any testing with this one yet i'm working on that now so do like all the 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 sheath and the uh clip that it comes with so pretty nice package i think it was better than that 30 something dollar price range though all right another one that i got <laughs> fairly recently is this acta non verba acta non verba p100 this thing has a very very stout look how thick that kydex is which you know for a bigger fixed blade i like it but with something that i'm trying to conceal you know maybe inside the waistband this this thing's a little much this uh heavy duty kydex sheath um this is cord wrapped and it's in sleipner steel with that um, drop point or spear point, whatever they're calling it. Nice stone wash finish. There you go. It's fairly comfortable. Um, got the active non verb right here. The one I'm going to link to this is $86 without the cord wrap. Uh, but I think that's, you know, if I was going to buy that, I would probably go back and buy that one because I can cord wrap it myself. Uh, nothing special here. Only thing is, is mine did not come super sharp. So, I mean, not it's not the end of the world for me because I'm going to sharpen it anyway. But, you know, for somebody who who doesn't like to sharpen or doesn't know how to sharpen, you know, that might not be a good one for them. The last is probably my favorite because it's just, it's just a nice one. I, I, I like everything about it. And that's this custom that I picked up a while back from Ark and Iron. This is his Abrams model. I mean, look at this sheath very very nice sheath this thing is absolutely stunning it's in magna cut steel full flat grind perfect four finger grip for me the fit and finish on his knives are impeccable now you're going to pay for it because of that you have the acid stone wash finish on the actual uh main blade and then on the top he has a high satin finish Arc and iron here is a USA made. You got orange uh, G10 and blue G10 liners. You got blue G10 pens. Just the fit and finish on this thing is definitely on another level. Absolutely love it. Excellent jimping right there. Fits my hand perfect. Super, super lightweight. He's got tons of skeletonization in the inside of here. This thing is a featherweight. Um, it's a nice, nice leather slip. I have been carrying on the belt, but I think I'm going to try to find another uh, carry option for it because I'm not a big belt fixed blade guy. I, I'd rather, you know, either drop it in the pocket or uh, on the belt somewhere. I think I might try. I have a couple of other sheets that I think would fit this to where I can carry it, scout carry. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this, uh, my list of ones I've been carrying. Uh, like I said, I will have links to everything that is available down in the description. If you have any questions about any of these, feel free to let me know. And like I said, if you want me to do a video on how I like to carry the different means of uh, the, the different ways I like to carry my EDC fixed blades, y'all let me know that down in the comments and I will do my best to get that done. I uh, hope everybody's having an absolute amazing Sunday. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.